Big ol' fish. That's a big ol' fish. Oh my. Well, as you can see, I'm out on the kayak and um, it's May the 21st. Um, it's gonna be in the 70s today. It's been in this week uh, is one of those spring weeks where it got warm. We've had a bunch of thunderstorms. So most the creeks and stuff are flooded, but this kayak gives me a, a opportunity to get out and explore some more areas where, since I'm not gonna be fishing the creeks since they're so flooded and hopefully I can find some fish and have a good time. Go. There's a fish. Oh, it's crappie. Okay. I was getting something typing on it down there. All right, as you can see, um, I'm kind of throwing a little panfish lure, a little Bobby Garland. And um, I, I fished off this bridge. I kind of, it's right where I put in. I fished off this bridge tons of times. I used to drive by it all the time with my old job, uh, fixing air conditioners. So every time I'd come over this bridge, I'd cast in. And the water usually is like really clear here and a lot lower. So the water's up and it's muddy. We may go under that bridge here in a minute, or at least try, I don't know. But I definitely know there's, there's a lot of little fish that hang around this bridge and there's some rocks down here, so. All right, let me get down in my kayak. Hopefully there's no spiders or nothing gonna drop on me. Oh yeah, I got this. Oh, I'm about to lose my kayak, my paddle. Boom, nothing to it. <laughs> I snagged this little guy, little bitty large mouth. This little creek is pretty cool. I'm going way back up in it, and uh, it's pretty deep back in here. This little guy, hey, it's a bass. Man, this thing keeps on going. I didn't realize. I think I've been back here before, and um, it's it's like a tiny little creek, but because the water's so high, it's like this long channel back here. I think I walked it one time a couple years ago. Walked back in here. Just to kind of see. Well, this is actually pretty cool. I made it up to the front of this creek. Thought there'd be a few fish up in here. And uh, didn't didn't really see much, which the water's murky, so I don't know. There could have been some up in here chilling, but uh, it's pretty cool to come back up in this little creek as far as I can, so. Guess I'll paddle back out to the main part of the water. Oh my goodness. I just went over top of a big old bass. Just floating. All right, there's a bass on a bed right there, I think. I just floated over it a second ago and I kind of drifted back up to it and I think I saw where he's at. Um, I think I've spooked him pretty good though, I don't know. So, uh, I'm gonna, oh yeah, he's, he's back over there. I'm gonna try a couple different lure changes. All right, they always say lizards are supposed to be good for that kind of stuff. And I did bring some with me. I think that fish is still up there. Yep, yep, I seen, I seen him cross by. I can barely see it. I see it just like cruising back and forth through this little area. Oh 
Oh no, 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 no. He's like all tangled up in everything. Oh no, no, no. Is he still on there? Yep, he's still on, still on. Goodness, that's a giant. Get over here, get over here. Holy cow! Goodness. Oh man. <laughs> I may have just broke my PB again. Oh my goodness. The lizard. The lizard got I barely could see it. I just I threw it in the bed, twitch, 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 felt a little bitty tap, and boom! 4.3 pounds right at uh, 20 inches long. Okay, let me let it get real life. All right, one last look, dude, that is so cool. So I didn't have it out too long, but definitely working a bed there. The lizard got it done. All right, go on, go on, let's let you get. Good to go. Taking a second here. I didn't have it out that long. You ready? Come here. Oh, there he goes. Okay. All right, swam off good. <laughs> that was so cool. Dude, that was so cool. Um, that's where, I mean, these are cheap polarized glasses, but they helped me see that fish where when I, when I kayaked into that creek, um, this right here is like right at the mouth of the creek, and I, I kayaked into it, I put the sunglasses on, and I came back out. Even though it's a cloudy day, and the water clarity is not that good. It helped me just see that little, that bass swim by me as I was kayaking through. I turned around and kind of found his bed or her, whatever it is. And I watched it for a minute until it settled down. And I cast it over there a few times, cast it over a few times. Then I got a cast right in the bed. And I couldn't tell if the fish was really looking at it or not. And I uh, twitched it a couple times, just kind of very wait, waiting for a little bitty uh, tug. As soon as I felt a tug, set the hook. Now I know some people don't like you know, you fishing for bed on fish on beds, but they're fine. I barely had it out of the water. It did take it a second to recover. It, it felt like it was like shocked for a little bit, but then after after just you know a few seconds, it swam back off fine. So those fish are fine, and there's so many beds out there that you you never know where they're at. So the ones that do get caught are just a, a small fraction of the ones. But I've caught a bunch of them already, and I, I see them go right back to the beds, and they're they're fine and good. So so wow, this is crazy. A five pounder and a four point three pounder within like a week almost. Tugs like crazy. I can't get them hooked. And I got a small hook on there, so you know what that means. Yep, time to downsize. Little trout magnet. There we go. Oh, nice. Okay, a little color change and a uh, lure change. Nice crappie there. That's a 11 inch black crappie. So always bring your trout magnets. That's that's a rule right there. Every time you go fishing, you gotta have them. There we go. Oh, oh, those are crappie. They're in there. All right, we're getting a few of them. That's pretty cool. I'll, I'll stay here and fish with them for a while if, uh, if they keep biting. Nope, they came off. Uh, another little black crappie. Oh, there we go. Oh, another good one. I, I cast it all around with the other lure, and I don't know if it's the color or just the way this. Uh, this smaller jig head sinks a lot slower. It's a 164th ounce jig head, you know, the trout magnet one. But um, I'm sinking it in there really slow, working really slow, and it's it's picking up some fish. All right. Well, that's not bad, actually. All right. Let's go for some bass again. I guess we'll probably we'll give another hour, hour and a half, something like that.
we go. Oh, that's a solid fish. Hold on, hold on. bank you know he's not a giant but happy to get that oh. hey about a pound large mouth nice oh yeah Up over this log and hit it. Yes, dude, that was right after I caught that other one. Nice, nice bass. I switched up my swim bait because that the mega bass. One thing I hate about it is they tear up so quick. So I switched to the Z-Man, and um, this is like three minutes after I just caught that last one. Oh, two pounds. Uh -oh. Two pounds even. Good, got those black spots on him. That's a good, healthy looking fish. Doesn't look like he's spawning or anything. But that hook was not coming out of there. That hook was in there. So, but at least everything came out all right. He looks good. Well, I tore up my, I'm using a, uh, like I said, a Z-Man swim bait, but these little three round three inch swim baits, and um, this jig head's just one of those mushroom style jig heads. I'm gonna go ahead and replace it since it's all beat up, but I think this is a uh, one fifteenth ounce. Oh, some bluegill. I don't know if they're big or not. Oh, well, there they are. Oh, got one. Didn't know how he bit it right away. All right, nothing big, just average size. So I just saw them whenever I was kind of coasting and and uh, changing up lures. Oh, I got one. <laughs> he was so little, I didn't feel him. That's a little bass there. Little, but you know, it breaks up the monotony. I do get bored paddling around, casting lures, letting the wind blow me around. I like to have something happening. I've stopped and fished off this bridge um, many times. Whenever I used to do heat and air work, I'd come through this area and I've caught a bunch of fish off this bridge. Um, this is another thing where I've been doing this for eight or nine months now, full time. It just, it just, it still is sinking in how um, I get to do this for a living. God's blessed me to be able to do, make these videos and go fishing um, to make uh, to make a living off of. Yeah, it's still some uh, hard work, you know. And every day is not just, you know, totally enjoyable. Uh, especially a lot of editing and buying a lot of equipment that I need for doing this kind of stuff. But it's, uh, it's really awesome I get to do this. Um, kayaking. Uh, this is the first time I've kayaked here. Um, I've been on a boat. And here just one time but um getting back into that spot back there where i could only get back there with a kayak was awesome but then again whenever i get out here and i fish this area and i'm getting blown around by the wind i'm like man do i want a boat or not it's trying to just kind of and then something a lot of times i'm just like i wish i could just fish off the bank so um kayaking is not like my favorite way to fish but man that right there shows how um, important it could be to catch some fish just getting in little spots, uh, drifting up on fish, stuff like that. So that was actually a really good time. The last hour and a half, I, I think I caught one, maybe two tiny little fish. Um, I really struggled and I watched some other guys on a boat. They caught like three or four in like 30 minutes while I'm paddling around. So um, sometimes I get really excited. I'm like, oh, I got this figured out. And then, then I get like, I don't know, have any idea what I'm doing. So that's a good thing about fishing. You don't have to have any idea what you're doing. You can still catch fish. Um, you know, it, the more you know, the easier it gets, but I'm glad that fishing, uh, they don't mind, they don't care who's casting the rod, if it's somebody that's never fished before or people that fish all the time. But, well, thanks for watching. I'm going to load up now. I spent about five hours out here. Good afternoon fishing. Uh, I may cast a couple more times off this bridge and then I'm done for the day.